Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingi Engineering College, Koyal Vinni. And uh, I am happy to meet you again uh, through this video lecture on the topic Problems in Air Conditioning, Part 1. Uh, we solved a few problems here. Uh, mostly the problems are repeatedly asked in the Anna University examination. The first example, calculate the relative humidity and the humidity ratio of air when the dry bulb temperature is 32 degrees Celsius and wet bulb temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. The barometer reads 750 millimeter of mercury. So, the barometer reads that means the atmospheric pressure is 750 millimeter of mercury. And uh, here we have to calculate relative humidity and humidity ratio. So, what is humidity ratio? It is specific humidity. And uh, uh, simple, uh, you have to write down the given data, the dry bulb temperature which is referred as T1 equal to 32 degrees Celsius, wet bulb temperature which is referred as T2 which is 28 degrees Celsius and uh, we are going to use the equation what we discussed in the adiabatic evaporation process. You recall the previous lecture and you can even go to the previous lecture, refer to your notes the adiabatic saturation process that is what we are going to consider here uh, for solving the problem. And the atmospheric pressure first we convert into bar. So, the standard atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeter of mercury. So, 760 millimeter of mercury is 1.01325 bar for 750 millimeter of mercury it is 1 bar. So, calculating it is atmospheric pressure is 1 bar. So, from the steam table, the saturation pressure at a temperature T2 equal to 28 degree Celsius. What is T2 here? Wet bulb temperature at the outlet of the adiabatic saturator. So, here the saturation pressure is 0 0.03778 bar. So, from this steam table, this you have to take at the temperature T2. And the specific humidity at the saturated condition at the outlet of adiabatic saturation process. So, W2 equal to 0.622. Ps by P minus Ps equal to 0.622 into uh, 0 0.03778 divided by 1 minus 0 0.03778 equal to 0 0.0244 kilogram per kilogram of air. So, this is what the specific humidity at the saturated condition W2 at the outlet of the adiabatic saturation process. Then uh, at the inlet of the adiabatic saturation process, we calculate the specific humidity W1. This is what the equation we derived. Uh, CPA specific heat of the air into T2 minus T1 outlet temperature minus inlet temperature plus W2 specific humidity at the outlet HFG2 divided by HW1 minus HF2. And uh, CPA specific heat of the air equal to 1.005 kJ per kilogram Kelvin from the steam table at 28 degree Celsius HF2 equal to 117.3 kJ per kilogram. HFG2 equal to 2435.4 kJ per kilogram. From the steam table again, T1 equal to 32 degrees Celsius. HW1 equal to HG1 equal to 2560 kJ per kilogram. So, all these values uh, we have to collect, we have to take from the steam table. Substituting W1 equal to CPA equal to 1.005, T2 equal to 28, T1 equal to 32, and this W2 equal to 0 0.0244, we calculated the earlier. And the HFG2 equal to 2435.4 divided by HW1 equal to 2560 minus 117.3. That gives W1 specific humidity at the inlet equal to 0 0.0227 kg per kg of air. Now, this equation. So, the partial pressure, we have to calculate the partial pressure of water vapor. We have this equation W1 equal to 0 0.622 PW by P minus PW. Now, Left hand side is known and is equal to 0 0.0227 and right hand side is the P is the 1 bar and PW we have to calculate. So, substituting 0 0.0227 equal to 0 0.622 into PW divided by 1 minus PW. So, P equal to 1 bar. So, rearranging 1 minus PW divided by PW equal to 0 0.622 divided by 0 0.0227 which is 27.4. Uh, solving this equation, the partial pressure of water vapor is 0 0.03787 bar. Again, from this steam table, at the, the saturation pressure at the dry bulb temperature T1 equal to 32 degrees Celsius, PS equal to 0 0.04753 bar. 
So the partial pressure of air water vapor is uh, 0.03787 bar. The partial pressure of water vapor at the saturated condition is 0 0.04753 bar. Now the relative humidity is pi equal to Pw by Ps, which is 0 0.03787 divided by 0 0.04753 equal to 0.796, which is 79.6 percent. That is what the relative humidity. So relative humidity is 79.6, and the specific humidity is 0 0.227 kg per kg of the air. That is the answer for the problem. And we take the example 2, 100 meter cube of air per minute at 15 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 80 percent relative humidity is heated until its temperature becomes 22 degree Celsius. So, it is sensible heating process. Calculate the following, one heat added to the air per minute, relative humidity of the heated air, assume the air pressure is 1.033 bar. And this uh, problem we are going to solve using the psychrometric chart. Uh, first, you write down the given data, volume of the air equal to 100 meter cube per minute, T1 equal to 15 degree Celsius, relative humidity 5 1 equal to 80 percent and T2 equal to 22 degree Celsius. Now, this is the psychrometric chart. The inlet condition is dry bulb temperature 15 degree Celsius, relative humidity 80 percent and the outlet condition dry bulb temperature is 22 degree Celsius. Now, take the psychrometric chart, you take uh, the dry bulb temperature on the x axis and uh, at 15 degree Celsius, you draw one vertical line to meet at 80 percent relative humidity. So, this vertical line, how this point 1 is obtained, 15 degree Celsius and 80 percent relative humidity, locate the point 1. Then draw the horizontal line to meet at 22 degree Celsius. So, the outlet condition is 22 degree Celsius. So, this is the sensible heating process. Inlet condition 15 degree Celsius and the 80 percent relative humidity, outlet condition 22 degree Celsius and now you have to read other values. What are the required values? From the psychrometric chart, we have to find out the enthalpy here, H1 equal to. So, you have to read vertically inclined. So, you have to, using the scale, you can read the enthalpy H1 equal to 38. H2 equal to 45.5 kilojoules per kilogram. Specific humidity of the air at the outlet here, it is 54 percentage and specific volume of the air at this point, it is 81, 83, 828.88 meter cube per kg. So, these are the properties we have to take from the psychrometric chart for our calculations. Then uh, calculate the mass of the air, M equal to volume divided by specific volume volume divided by specific volume, volume it is given in the problem 100 meter cube per minute and the specific volume is 0 0.828. So, this will be 0 0.120, 0 0.77 kilograms per minute. So, the mass of the air circulated uh, flowing is 120.77 kg per minute. Now, the heat added M into H2 minus H1 that is equal to 120.77 into 45.5 minus 38, this is 905.775 kilojoules per minute and the relative humidity at the outlet directly from the psychrometric chart, it is 54 percent. So, these are all the unknown, these are all the, uh, the parameters that you have to calculate. Heat added is 905.775 kilojoules per minute and relative humidity at the outlet is 54 percent. This is the answer for the problem. And we take the example 3. An air conditioning plant is to be designed for a small office for winter condition. The outdoor conditions are 10 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 8 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. The required indoor conditions are 20 degree dry bulb temperature and 60 degree relative humidity. Amount of air circulation is 0.3 meter cube per minute per person. The seating capacity of the office is 50. The required conditions is achieved by heating then adiabatic humidify. Find the following. Heating capacity of the coil in kilowatts and surface temperature required if the bypass factor of the coil is 0.4 and the capacity of the humidify. So, read the problem. Simply write down the given data. So, outdoor condition is, this is what the outdoor condition, 10 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature, 8 degree Celsius wet bulb temperature. The required indoor condition is 20 degree Celsius level temperature and 60 degree, 60 percent relative humidity. This is the quantity of the air required per person uh, per minute and this is what the number of persons in the office. Now, you take the psychrometric chart, 
these are all the uh, indoor and outdoor conditions the process is achieved the condition is achieved by heating and humidification we take the initial condition this is the initial condition 10 degree dry bulb temperature at 8 degree uh, 8 degree celsius wet bulb temperature this is point number 1 first heating sensible heating horizontal line then adiabatic humidification. So the final condition is this. So locate the initial point, locate the final point. Now how to draw the other line? 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. So the condition is achieved by heating and then adiabatic humidification. For adiabatic humidification, enthalpy is constant. So what we do, you draw one horizontal line from 1 horizontally, right? Then you draw a line, inclined line, so parallel to the enthalpy line. So, using the scale parallel to the enthalpy, right, draw the line. So, it will meet here at the point 2. So, this is heating and then adiabatic humidification. At the end of the, actually during the heating process, the temperature is raised from 10 degree Celsius to 29 degree Celsius. Then it is adiabatically humidified, spraying water, the temperature decreases and the amount of water vapor is increased. And the, from the psychrometric chart, you have to read H1 equal to 25 kJ per kilogram, H2 equal to H3 equal to 44 kJ per kilogram, the specific humidity W1 equal to W2 equal to 6 grams per kg and W3 equal to 9 grams per kg and specific volume of the air at the, here at this point is 0.81 meter cube per kilogram. Now we have to calculate the mass of the air. First mass of the air equal to volume by specific volume. Volume is 0.3 meter cube per minute per person. So 0.3 into 50 divided by 60, that gives the meter cube per second divided by specific volume, this will be 0.31 kilograms per second. So the 50 percent, 60 is included to convert minutes into seconds. So 0.3 meter cube per minute uh, per person, so multiplying by 50 divided by 60, and dividing by 0 0.81, 0 0.31 kg per second. Heating capacity, of the, uh, heating capacity of the coil, heating coil, so this mass of the air into H2 minus H1, which is 0.31 into uh, 44 minus 25, which is 5.89. And uh, surface temperature of the coil, knowing the bypass factor. So the bypass factor is given as 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So bypass factor is given as 0.4. So, knowing the bypass factor, bypass factor equal to T4 minus T2 divided by T4 minus T1. So, if you look at the diagram here. So, bypass factor, uh, this is T4, surface temperature, T4 minus T2 divided by T4 minus T1. So, this is the uh, surface temperature of the coil, heating coil. This is the inlet temperature, this is the heating outlet temperature. So, the uh, surface temperature minus the outlet temperature surface temperature minus the inlet temperature, that is what the bypass factor. So, bypass factor equal to T4 minus T2, that is surface temperature minus outlet temperature divided by surface temperature minus inlet temperature. So, bypass factor is given as 0.4. So, our objective, we have to calculate T4. So, T2 is 29 from the chart, T1 equal to 10 given in the problem. So, rearranging and calculating the T4 equal to 41.6 degree Celsius. So, we just look at the calculation and it is only merely rearranging uh, simple arithmetic calculation to calculate the temperature T4 equal to 41.6 degree Celsius. And uh, capacity of the humidifier, that is the amount of water vapor removed uh, by the humidifier, this is MA into W3 minus W2, which is 0.91, 9 minus 6 divided by 1000. So, this is given grams per kg. So, dividing by 1000, this will be kg per kg. So, this will be 9.3 in 10 power minus 4 kilograms per second or 3.348 kilograms per hour. And we take the next example, example number 4. Uh, the following condition applied to an air conditioning system in an industrial process. Outdoor conditions 30 degrees dry bulb temperature at 65 percent relative humidity. Indoor conditions required is 25 degree dry bulb temperature at 60 percent relative humidity. Uh, free air circulation is 250 meter per minute. Calculate the capacity of the coil, cooling coil in tons of refrigeration, a capacity of the heating coil in kilowatts, and mass of the water vapor removed per hour. So, this is from the anionistic question paper, May 2013. So, read the problem, write down the given data. 
So outdoor conditions are 30 degrees Celsius and the 60 percent, 65 percent relative humidity. Indoor conditions are 25 degrees Celsius and uh, 60 percent relative humidity. And the free air circulation is 250 meter cube per minute. One second, you take the psychrometric chart. So here the process initial condition is uh, outdoor condition is 30 degrees Celsius day over temperature and 65 percent relative humidity. Indoor condition is so this is the outdoor condition and this is the indoor condition. So, outdoor condition is uh, 30 degrees Celsius and 65 percent relative humidity. Indoor condition is uh, 25 degrees Celsius and uh, 60 percent relative humidity. How this is achieved? Cooling, dehumidification and then heat. So, initially it is cooled and then water vapor is removed and then it is heated again. Now, from the psychrometric chart, you have to read all these things. H1, 77.2, H2, 69. Uh, kilojoules per kilogram, H3 uh, 49 kilojoules per kilogram, H4 58 kilojoules per kilogram and specific humidity W1 equal to W2 equal to 18 uh, grams per kg, W3 equal to W4 equal to 12.5 grams per kg and the specific volume here it is 0.885 meter cube per kilogram. All these values we have to read from the chart. Locating the point, use the scale pencil properly and locate the point and uh, calculate the take the properties from the chart and the mass of the air equal to uh, volume by specific volume. So, volume is 250 meter cube per minute. So, this will be 4.71 kg per second divided by 60 and 0.885 equal to 4.71 kg per second. Capacity of the heating coil MA into H4 minus H3 which is 4.71 into 58.49 which is 42.39 kilowatts. Uh, you have to divide by 3.5. So, 1 kilojoules, 1, uh, 3.5 kilojoules per second equal to 1 ton of refrigeration. So, dividing by 3.5, it will be 12.1 tons ton of refrigeration. And the uh, capacity of the cooling coil, MBA into H1 minus H2, which is 4.71 multiplied by 77.2 minus 69. So, this is 38.6622 kilowatt or 11 ton of refrigeration. And the mass of the water vapor removed, MA into W2 minus W3, which is 4.71 minus 18 minus 12.5 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.0259 kilograms per second or 93.24 kilograms per hour. We thank you. Uh, we stop here. We will continue in the uh, next lecture. Uh, we will solve few more problems in the next lecture.